So I'd like to introduce my papa, my papa Gilles. <laughs> I have an idea. Hey, what do you think we go uh, spend a Sunday afternoon and jump out of a plane? <laughs> oh, that was not one of my dreams. <laughs> I never oh, <laughs> was God. not on my list. <laughs> I didn't want to go. I went because I didn't want to look like a wimp. <laughs> if you're jumping, I can too. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> As we were going up uh, on that plane, I remember feeling so excited. I would, I, I, I couldn't think about what was really going to happen. I was like, "Wow, I can't believe I'm actually doing this!" And then I was the first one out of that plane. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, to, I as we're coming close to the exit of the plane, that door. I thought, okay, I'll catch my breath, I'll take, soak up, soak in the scenery, count to three, we'll go one, two, three, out I was. <laughs> I had no time to count, no time to, 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 to look around, it was right away, instant, out into thin air, like, like, free falling. And you have no time to think, you're out. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like that, it, out you go. And the, the wind, the air, like my... Wow, it was like, it was huge, it was intense. <laughs> All right, congratulations. Yeah, better than mine. Yes. Way cool. Anyway, I went because of of you. Yes. And many other people went because of you. Anyway, why did you why did you want to do that job? It, it was it was very spontaneous for me to decide that I wanted to go skydiving and I couldn't I couldn't figure out why I wanted to do that people were asking me why do you want to go skydiving and when I after the day when I got home after thinking about it it dawned on me ah I know why if I can jump out of a plane <laughs> at 12,500 feet, free fall for, uh, for 45 seconds, <laughs> 45 300 seconds. kilometers an hour, <laughs> and then just let things happen, That's, then maybe I can deal with living with this illness, living with ALS. If I can do that, then I can... I can handle ALS. <laughs> it's funny, you know, after the jump, I was thinking, what came to me was, now, I, the meaning of the expression, uh, letting go, has changed. It has a new meaning, really. You're in that plane, and you have to let go of your fear and everything, you have to deal to, with it. Yes. Mm, you're 
faced, you're confronted with what's happening now and it's super intense mm. and you have to know how to, okay, how am I going to deal with this and how am I going to continue to appreciate what's happening now even though it's scary. Mm -hmm. And I think there's this parallel with skydiving and, and ALS. I'm confronted with this, I'm scared, but how do I deal with it and how do I overcome? And so I've always, uh, and I've always lived my life with, through using this motto and I still do and it's even more true to me than it, it, than it was. It's face the fear, smile, <laughs> and then move on. <laughs> I dare to say that for you. Even in your situation, you can look at life and say, hey, this is beautiful. I just look at uh, you and Tom, you know, how you are together in this. And I look at you with the children, and you have to let go a lot, but still you're so present with them. Mm. So, and people come and go, and you, you greet them, you, you welcome them and make them feel at home. So you live with it, you know, fully. And I'm learning to adapt and to make the best out of it. And they say you are so brave. And I feel like saying, you know, she's not brave. <laughs> Because you have your moments when you're alone where you evaluate your situation and you say, holy, something. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really in a predicament. But the thing is, I would dare say it's not that you are, because you're brave that you can live it the way you do. It's just that you have the wisdom to stay connected to the present moment and to say, well, with my situation, what is the best I can do? That's it. What is the best I can do? And the trick is not to think too much. Uh-huh. Uh, just live. Yes. Right? Just... I gained a lot out of that experience. One is that even though my, my body is weakening, I don't need to limit myself. Um, I need to continue to be creative, to find um, what will continue to nourish that spark of life in me. I need to continue to live life as fully as possible and uh, to enjoy. I don't know why I'm crying. <laughs> <laughs> right. You know, you know, at first I used to cry a lot because of your situation. And the reason why I was crying was that I was not living in the present, I was looking at the future, what could be. At the moment I stopped that, and I just look at you today, uh, today it's, it's okay, and that's it. Yeah. Then I, I don't, I, I live it well, really. And I have my brothers and sisters, how do you do it, you know? Well, How do you cope with yes. having a child yeah. living through this illness that will rob their mind from their body kind yes. of thing? Yes, yeah? yes. And they tell me they have also issues with some of their children. Or does it rob their m body from their mind? <laughs> <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, I, I, I always tell them, no, no, no. They say, well, but your situation is so much worse. Absolutely not. She's happy, she's well. The family's together and they're, there's a lot of laughter in the house. Actually, there's always laughter in the house. 
so it's it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs>